Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 27 of Radio Free Filler. Yes, indeed. Here we are, right in the first week of November. Halloween is safely behind us, and... Shh! Don't move! What's going on? I says don't move. I got the place surrounded. I don't get it. Let me see. Are you ready? Ready for what? He can't get away this time. He can't what, who, huh? Shh! He'll be here any minute. I don't see anyone. He don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? Quiet, use. Can you just tell me what you're doing here? I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. I don't see how you can... Like I said, I got the place surrounded. There's only two of us here. How have you got the place surrounded? Here, let me show ya. What's this supposed to be? It just looks like a drawing of... Is that supposed to be the stage? You bet. And you see the big circle? Yeah, I couldn't miss that. It takes up most of the paper. And the stage is inside, right? Yes, but... Oh, I get it. I think. Are you trying to tell me... You've got to be kidding. The big circle is... That's right. The big circle is surrounding the stage. The big... Circle. Like I said, I got the place surrounded. So, who are you going to arrest? A citizen. So you're not an undercover policeman? No, I'm what you call a village ante. What, are you going to arrest your nephew? <laughs> Quiet. I think I hear him coming now. Well, folks, I guess we'll find out soon enough. I voted, I went right out again and voted, and it doesn't cost a dime, so I do it every time, I voted, I voted, and my opinions will be noted, it was absolutely free, it was waiting just for me, I voted. My two cents in I voted I voted No matter what they say or do There's still one thing I know is true I voted I voted, I voted, I voted, I voted, I voted, I voted, I voted. Well, how do you like that? I can't believe it. He got away again. It's like he was walking on air. I had him for sure this time. I've never seen anyone up so high. I can't understand it. What's the matter? How did you feel after you voted? I don't know. I never vote. You never vote? Nah, I'm always too busy waiting to jump on that other guy. That must be why he always wins. Well, you just wait until next time. Oh, I can wait all right. 
I'm not worried at all. What makes you so sure all of a sudden? Well, it just so happens that I voted. I set this sketch up to promote it. I vote each election year just to let them know I'm here. I voted. 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 Yes, indeed. I voted. Hey, boss. Yeah, it's me, all right. I know you're not gonna like this, but... Yeah, you guessed it. He got away again. Well, that's all right for those people. But now it's time to turn our attention to a serious crisis that is plaguing our nation. It's kind of crept up on us over the past several years, but it seems like we were all too caught up in our day-to-day -day activities to notice. Well, the current COVID pandemic has managed to disrupt those daily routines, and now we are forced to come face-to-face -face with this very real, long-standing menace. In case you haven't guessed, I'm talking about the proliferation of movie reruns on our cable TV channels. Now, everyone's used to the idea of reruns of TV shows. Heck, there are whole channels devoted to nothing else. The show that the critics dumped on when it first came out is now called Classic Television. That's one thing. But it's something else when you tune in at breakfast and then maybe take another break at lunch and decide to check in at dinner and keep on seeing different scenes from the same movie you sat through last week because there was nothing else on that was even slightly interesting. It might have been a pretty good flick, at least for the first three times, and maybe you didn't catch it from the beginning the first time, so you tell yourself that one didn't really count. But sooner or later, it catches up to you. It gets to you. It bugs you. And if you find that thinking about it keeps you up at night, then you go down and turn on the TV to take your mind off it. And there it is again. Now, I'm not much of one for dramatizations. I figure this situation is bad enough already. But turns out there's a new singing group that's got a parody song that does a pretty good job of expressing the problem. And you know what I say, if the shoe fits, put it on and go kick something. <laughs> so here goes. This is The Satellite Dishes performing the rerun song.
gee, that ended quickly. Oh well, the satellite dishes, everyone. Weren't they great? And speaking of reruns, here's a familiar leftover from one of the classic channels. Only in Mashy, the dim and cold. Only in Mashy, the jokes are old. Soggy oatmeal and mashed potato. Try to act like the Socrates and Plato. They don't do much, but they talk for free. And that's the way. Welcome to episode 23 of Odie and Mashie. This is a very exciting occasion because we have finally been given the opportunity to appear on one of the classic channels. That's right, this is our chance to live forever. Not to mention the fact that this is a prime time showing. Yep, everyone will be wearing tuxedos and evening gowns. High class! Fancy shoes propped up on the big sofa. No more small potatoes. Except me. Uncut. Yep. Commercial free. Yep. Gee, Mashy, you're already starting to sound like Gary Cooper. Thanks, Odie. Well, you blew it now. Such a prestigious undertaking will involve a few changes, of course. Are you ready, gentlemen? What are we waiting for? I was waiting for the gentleman. Dinner Classic Movies presents Odie and Mashy in The Cold Mush. Hey, Mashy. What is it, Odie? It sure is cold. Yep. And it's getting dark. Yep. And stormy. No, not stormy. This is a movie, not a novel. I wonder what kind of movie it'll be. Want to know more? It's gonna be a romance. Oh, boy. That's what you think. Hey, what are you doing here? This flick is going to be a melodrama. Oh, my. Help, help. Wow. You'll never get away with this. I don't know. How are we going to stop him? Hey, you're right. We're in big trouble here. This is a job for... It is I, Custard Pie, action hero to the rescue. Curses. Custard Pie, my arch nemesis. Unhand that fair maiden. You're too late. She's already unhanded. I wrote that one myself. You scoundrel! You cad! You guy without a dad! Well, if you're going to get personal, I'm going to bring in my henchman. Go get him, boys! Somebody stop them! They're gonna break the camera! No one can defeat me! Your chances are zero! After all, I'm an action hero! Enough with the rhymes! Get going! Certainly! Isn't someone going to throw me? Like who? We got no arms or hands. What? Where are my handlers? I'm not accustomed to this. Uh Uh-oh, here they come. I can't look. Of course not. You got no eyes. Custard, you've made your last stand. Victory is mine. Uh Uh-oh. What happens now? Well, you know the old saying, to the victor go the spoils. Uh, boss? Yes, what is it? Uh, we got a problem. What's the matter? We got no appetite left for the girl. We're full. What do you mean? Oh, no. Where am I? Well, technically, you're at the denouement. Curses. Let's get out of here, boss. You're right. There will be another day. That's what he thinks. 
We're almost out of film. My hero. And we never got to thank him. Don't despair. A true hero never dies. He still lives on in our hearts. And their stomachs. I owe silverware! Away! I wrote that one, too. Shut up. That's a radio gag. Odie and Bashi, the shows are lame. Odie and Bashi, they're all the same. Odie's answer and Mashi's question. Guaranteed to give you indigestion. They don't do much, but they talk for free. Just like you and me. Well, that's all we have for this show. We'll see you next time on Radio Free Filler. <laughs>